guys, Zuldrin here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Let's continue the questing, shall we? I guess we're going to start out with the side quests and see what we can do here. Uh, let's see here. Can we talk to you? I'm astonished at the repairs you've made to the Moonbrook Castle. The power of this skilled builder is truly a wonder to behold. That being said, I'm certain you could make our home even <laughs> greater. <laughs> There's no need to be modest, boy. I know you have it in you. If we want our soldiers to have every advantage in the battle to come, we must provide them with a well-stocked armory. All the room needs is a chest, two barricades, four pieces of ornamental equipment, and some description and some description of another. Uh, we have an, a spare room to be able to do that in as well. Ah, Zuljin, the thought of those two noble warriors that gave their lives a heroic battle against the Air Force is too tragic to bear. But to die is the fate of all who live, just as all who live are doomed to eventually grow hungry. Wow. Just listen to my rumbling stomach. <laughs> Why do people need to eat? We hunger day and night. Life is so bittersweet when you really need a bite. Oh my gosh, the songs. <laughs> Which brings me to my request, dear Zuljin. I think it's about time we upgraded our cooking arrangements. You already built a kitchen castle, yeah? Or a castle kitchen, yeah? Well, I think it needs to have a big table to eat at. We could put a crock pot and some crockery on the table. No longer be a mere kitchen, it would be a castle cafeteria. Our population grows and there's more <laughs> mouths to feed, but the wiser builder knows just what our kitchen needs. Oh my gosh. And finally, jolly good show, Zuljin. Yes, Morio. Ringing that bell didn't just inspire the townspeople, it rallied new troops to our cause, too. Hmm, I'm not concerned. Am I not concerned about the number that might be a spy uh, among their number? Wow, I'm all reading this morning. That's certainly a possibility, but the last thing we need to start doubting each other is to start doubting each other. We have enough enemies as it is without making enemies of ourselves. Who? Oh, who is our enemy? Is it any you? Or is it any me? Oh my god. It's Hayden. <laughs> who should we trust? Who should we hate? Find out we must before it's too late. He just came in and sang a song real quick. <laughs> or it's like, uh. Anyway, if there's one person I trust, it's you, Zuljin. And I, t I hope you feel you can trust me too. And I have little doubt who our next enemy will be. The uh, Abominable Air Force. We must find a way to defeat them before well. Yes, before it's too late. <laughs> he didn't want to say it because Hayden came in and sang it. It reminds me of uh, Monty Python with uh, the son that would sing. And he was like, no, stop the music, stop the music. The king would be like, no son of mine is going to be doing this. All right, so we need an armory pretty much, right? Uh, that should not be too, too hard. Um, all we really need to do to make something small is probably just put a door right here. And this could be an armory. So, let's see what we need. We could just go inside. I know we have another quest to go to, but uh, let's see what we need here. So, we'll just do... A ch we have a chest already. Uh, we do need some barricades. I think, I think that, was a, that was a wooden fortification. I don't know if it was called a barricade or not. Throne room door is new. That's cool. Uh, big table. We're gonna need one of those. And we're gonna need some crockery and stuff. There we go. We already have a chest, so we're good without that. There's the crock pot. They are cheering their butt off. Ornamental armor. And... Uh, Oh, this is the barricades that we needed, actually. Whoops. Okay, I think that's actually it. I think that's all we needed. Alright, so for this room, I think all we're gonna do is just set a door, like, right here. And this should make this a room. Alright, small room. Perfect. Then we can take the armor stand. Okay, the room gets a bit fancier. Cool. I think they said we needed a couple barricades, like this. Mm-hmm. And something that said uh, a decoration, I think he said? I'm not too sure. Um, let's move on to the kitchen, though, and complete that. Then we'll take a look at um, what we need further. 
So for here, all we're gonna need... It would actually be nice if we had extra room, but I don't think we're gonna need that much extra room. Let's go ahead and throw the table here. Uh, actually, when I think about it, I'd like to put the table one more over. There we go. Crock pot goes on top, and the crockery goes there. Buffet! Everybody's happy. Castle cafeteria. That's what they wanted. Very cool. Okay, and... Uh, wow. <laughs> the clapping is real. And the amount of hearts that I got for that. Holy cow. Alright, um, or loyalty points, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and next up, we're gonna need... Where's my buddy again? Here you are. Let's see. Oh, a chest. Ornamental swords as well. So, all I really need to do is add a few more of these. Small armory. I'll just put another one there because we already have it. <clears throat> and now we should have our stuff filled up here. Let's go and ring the bell. So that we get all the points. And now let's talk to everybody. Capital work, Zul'jin. You built us an armory with a fine young man you are. Now you need to hand out new swords to our soldiers one by one. You need to put them so... <laughs> you need but put them in chests and everyone can help themselves. This way, the army can quickly take advantage of all your advancements in armaments, providing you keep the chest in the armory well stocked. Speaking of warfare, Zul'jin, I know that builders are not born warriors, but you do not find a frantic chaos of battle trying? Were I a builder, I would want to stray far <laughs> from the fray. I would stand atop the walls and launch projectiles at my foes, even those in the air. An inviting prospect, is it not? Think upon this idea, young builder. Be inspired. Oh, if you give me a bow, it's on. A boom ball. A petite but explosive <laughs> that can uh, easily be tossed a great distance. Huh. Oh, boom balls, you say? That's a fine idea if I ever heard one. I imagine you'll be needing some rock bomb shorts to make them. You can obtain those from rock bombs that loiter around the docks where the Hair Force moored their ship. You could use those boom balls just as I described and simply find a pleasant spot to throw the <laughs> spot on the castle walls and rain destruction down on your enemies. Just be sure to build as many as you need before the battle begins. Okay. Um... I mean, we already have some shorts, I think. Boom balls. No, we're gonna need more rock bomb shorts. And it makes how many? Hmm, I really don't know. We are gonna need some iron ingots to try this out. So let's go ahead and get some of those crafting. How many can I make here? Uh, wow. Not a lot. Not a lot. That'll just be good for 10, but I don't know. We'll get some more iron as we go. Huff Puff Wheeze. Gov, I... I finished my training. Normally, I would have to them do another thousand laps of the castle walls, but it wouldn't do for them to keel over dead before they have a chance to prove themselves in battle. Hold on, I feel different. Whoa. <laughs> the townspeople turn into soldiers. Get it, and now we can fight <laughs> like an S and Maldrov do. Did he just call him Maldrov, or just did I just mispronounce it? Hmm. They would <laughs> take Malroth as their role model? Your friend is strong, but he's no soldier. His recklessness is a hazard to all around him. Allies and enemies both. Wow. You say he means no malice by it? That he may be, have a bad temper, but he has a good heart? I understand your desire to defend your friends, Uljin, but I have an army to lead. Maurat's mayhem is a distraction at best, at worst a threat. I sense something about that man. Whatever drives him to these excesses, I only hope that it does not bring calamity to Moonbrook. Oh, I'm sure it's going to bring calamity. <laughs> I don't know if it's Moonbroke, but <laughs> there's going to be some calamity to be had. <laughs> Our friend has a dark side. Darker than you know, woman. Well, would you look at that? You took a plain and functional kitchen and turned it into a beautiful castle cafeteria. That really whets the appetite. 
No doubt the townspeople will be inspired to use the ingredients they find in the chest to make all sorts of delicious foodstuffs. Of course, I myself would never dream of doing such a thing. It would be a mortal sin strictly prohibited by Almighty Horgon. You heretic. Speaking of Horgon, do you think it's true that one of his spies has infiltrated the castle? I fear... I hear fevered whisperings of treason and treachery, but that real harm has actually been done? If there's a traitor in our midst, they're not the most efficient fellow. But what if they're merely biding their time until one day... Oh, my mind runs wild with the possibilities. Any one of us could be the spy. What if it were Warwick? He's so noble and upstanding? Almost suspiciously so. Or Zara? There's something curiously assuming about her. And what of Lord Jeremiah? He might be a double agent, turned by the monsters during his time among them. What? It could be me? Don't be ridiculous. I'm a devout disciple of the children of Horgon, but espionage is not one of my many talents. <laughs> it's like the game of Clue, man. It's like the game of, game of Clue. We're all trying to figure it out. All right. Hold on. Hold on. What's going on over here? Castle's defenses are stronger than ever now, and we're recruiting new soldiers by the day. Our preparations to defeat Horgon's army proceed apace, but I fear that some of our new recruits might need a little bit more combat training. I was wondering if you could build us a room to do our drills. We'll need plenty of arms to target the practice with. I would say two sets of ornamental spears, four target dummies, and wooden fortifications should be enough. As long as it gets the built sooner rather than later, okay? Man, all this side duty, y'all. Okay, we can make it in this first room right here. This is really big. A really big setup, but why not? Like, it's already pretty much done. All we need to do is close this in. So, we'll do... I know. Raining down hell on us. Alright, there we go. So, this should make a room now. This is maybe? I don't know if it actually makes a room. Hmm. We might as well do our super attack. There we go. Got rid of those guys. They do give a little bit of metal, so that works. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. We might have to close it in a little bit more. Hmm. I mean, that wouldn't be that much of a problem. Uh, let's do that, actually. Let's do that. Let's just... Okay. And we'll put a door right there, too. So all we need to do now is make a little door. I could have did it right there as well. But that's fine. All right. Door. I should just make a handful. All right. Let's grab this iron, by the way. And I think I could smelt some more. Yeah. All right. I think we got what we need here. So we needed some of these barricades in here. And we needed a couple target dummies. I th I'm going to just put three down. Well, let's put four down. Actually, that kind of gets in the way, doesn't it? And we'll put some ornamental spear racks. Not a beautiful room by any stretch of the imagination, but it'll do what we need it to do. And I think that completes the quest. Gosh, this training room is fantastic. Y'all are so low budget. Even, if, even better than I imagined. Thank you so much, Zildjian. Now that we have somewhere to train, our soldiers can practice day and night until they're strong enough and skilled enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the fiercest of foes. That's if the spy doesn't get to us first. Ugh, not the spy nonsense again. Are you still going on about that? It isn't nonsense. The other night, I thought I saw a monster inside the castle. What if one of the allies is really a monster in disguise? And that's not all. I found some marks on the castle wall, and it looked like try someone was trying to tunnel through from the inside. Either there's a monster in our castle or some someone working for them. I'm sure of it. So what? I don't care what they get into their spare time. 
It's what they do on the battlefield that counts. I'm not going to start second-guessing my fellow fighters. You think so too, right, Zul'jin? I don't really know how to respond to that. Alright. Warwick. Time grows short, Zul'jin. You and Anessa must begin work on another magical weapon to help defeat the Air Force. Indeed, the fiends fly right over our current defenses. We have to identify their weakness and modify our fortifications to take advantage of it. But before that, let us begin by laying out another blueprint to expand upon our current system of walls and traps. We can add whatever invention we come up with to handle the Air Force later, but be sure to leave space for it when laying out your design. Okay. Dang. This is going to get pretty big. An Air Force Force Fortifications Blueprint. Anti-Air Force Fortifications Blueprint. Got you. Okay. Need a bunch of all of this stuff. Wooden Fortifications, Portcullis, Alcove Castle, a bunch of different castle walls. And uh, it looks like, besides that, we have all of the other stuff except Zap Traps and barricades and sizz snares. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit of everything. You finished already? Goodness me, it's enormous. You certainly don't waste time, do you, Sulgin? The locations marked with the question marks are for your new anti-air force device. Yes, just like you left space for the sizz snares last time. What blueprints, what a plan. But our foe is strong indeed. I shall give what aid I can. I think I have a lead. A lead? Hmm. Ask him what he means by that, would you? I don't think I would survive another second of listening to this caterwauling. Uh, the townspeople and I start work on the blueprint as soon as you prepare us a chest well stocked with pieces uh, of castle wall and other sundries we need. Of course, we won't be able to finish it off until you've invented the magical weaponry to fill the blanks. So go on, Zoljan, discover our enemy's weakness. Just like that, huh? I have traveled to every corner of the island, bringing my blessing of song to every far-flung region. That's to be determined. And picking up a lot of incredibly useful information along the way. You wish to learn about the Air Force? Well, yes. Well, their camp lies through the valley south of Munahan, deep within the poisonous swamp. Perhaps you should pay them a call. Come then, Zul'jin. We can infra infiltrate the enemy forces by making use of the mod rod, just as we did before. Our heroes depart for the enemy fort. In a poison swamp's heart, there are war plans to thwart. <laughs> All right, new destination. Best of luck. Before you go, please do. Sh yeah, we got materials. That's that we already know. Okay, let's craft these real quick. And I'm not gonna sleep quite yet because I might actually be able to get stuff prepared. Uh, let's see. We need. Wow, we're actually short on marble again. Dang it. I thought I had farmed enough of that stuff. Man. Okay, we can at least get them started here. And I'll go farm some some others. Uh, let's see here. Most of what we need is going to be... We need more spikes. Oh, we need more iron too. God dang it. We're going to be short on everything, y'all. Yeah, let's just... Uh, and I know I'm going to need some, some fortifications. We can make an infinite amount of these. All right, it's time to go farm a little bit of stuff. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I think for the rest of the episode instead, we're just going to give these guys what we have. I can make some sis uh, traps here too. Let's see. And uh, I think we're going to give them what we have to just start working on this thing. Where'd the chest go that they were working on, working with before? Oh, uh, here it is. All right, let's uh, stow this stuff. And have them start, huh? I'll just put a bunch of stuff in here. There we go. And I think... Let's see. There might be something that I have left over in here that I could give them. Or it might all be in the chest already. Pretty sure that that's gonna be it. Sizz traps and stuff I have making too will go in. But first, let's um, let's travel to Moonahan, shall we? Alright, here we are heading to... What looks like another zombie that wants to speak to us? Let's uh let's hit this up first. 
Well, hello there. What's a young lad like you doing all the way out here? Enjoying a bit of brutal, bloody combat, I take it? Well, <laughs> war away. I spend my days collecting arms and armor from fallen soldiers. So more war the merrier, if you ask me. I am always eager for more swords. Tell you what, if you could bring me five copper swords, I'll give you nine doses of the Fuddle Drops in return. I do have that, but I don't know if I want... I mean, we might as well. We don't need the copper swords for anything. Right, that's my copper sword quota sorted. I might still be interested in trading, mind you, if you had any better weapons on hand. I do, if you have anything better. Uh, let's see. What are you looking for now? Iron broad, broad broadswords? And what did he said he would give me? Gold? Yeah, ten gold. I don't need gold for anything right now. But we know where it's at. We know where it's at if we need it. And iron's pretty easy to get. There's a beautiful stinking swamp through here. It's a great place to rest, relax, and enjoy the fetid aroma. Or at least it used to be. Now it's full of squawking, nattering bird monsters. Ugh, I can't stand it. Okay. This doesn't look too swampy. Oh, it's starting to with the, with the purple stuff here. Let's go across the way. And we need to use the rod right now, yeah? Oh, this reminds me of the prison. <laughs> this reminds me of the prison, y'all. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put these away for now. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. We can go right in now. <laughs> awesome. Oh, the lisp guy again. Here we go. Hey, Hugh! What are you... <laughs> what are you flacker doing? Wandering around here. If you've got nothing to do, I'll find something to keep you busy. Go and gather more flurry feathereth. If we don't have enough... You, a, a particularly blethery bleed... <laughs> it's all it would take to leave us absolutely helpless. Wow. It's funny to think that the same thing can sitter up the greenest gallus and although tooth <laughs> I can't y'all. Relentlessly <laughs> if we think it it might be growing darker by the day. If a whirlwind whipped up while we were in the air, it'd be curtainous for all of us. That is why we need the flurry feathereth, so you can tear down the moonbroke castle without breaking a sweat. The other gremlins sh should have collected their quota by now. Though how about you go and gather them up and bring them back here? So the Air Force are vulnerable to strong winds, are they? I'll wager we could build something rather interesting from these flurry feather things. Let's follow the fiend's instructions and see where it leads us. Hey, you lot. Stop your nattering. Find the gremlins and bring them the flurry feathers. I don't... I wouldn't be that fine until I have all fixed. All right, so that's what we gotta do. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's the other gremlins. Cree, a gremlin in charge of Trent, you to collect furry feathers? Well, I found all mine, but I didn't. But then I lost them again. I didn't want anyone to steal them. <laughs> you see. So I hid them in a, po a poison swamp and completely forgot where I put them. I remember seeing an old crate floating in the water somewhere. Perhaps you can find them for me. Oh my god. So the feathers are in the swamp. The deadly poisonous one? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. <laughs> Wait, Malroth. We not need to dive ahead first into danger. Zuljin can simply drain the poison using his bottomless pot. But then we can't use his tools when we dressed up as a monster, can we? Then we need to find a safe place from the prying eyes of monsters to resume human form. Then we can search the nearby crate and find the flurry feathers at our leisure. Alright. Um, let's talk to the rest of them as well. What? You've been thin to collect all the flurry feathers? Then you can? But can you really be thrusted? <laughs> I know. I'll attack you some... Wait. I'll ask you some questions that only a loyal member of the squadron could answer. Question the first. What's the name of the quadrant? 
uh, if it the care for it. Wait, what? The care for it? No. It's the Air Force. You think, <laughs> though, do you? All right, my second question is about the army that was defeated by the moon, the horrid human th moon broke, the Air Force. Was the commander of uh, Pawi Yowie? No. An, an interesting response. Final question then, including myself. Are there three pretty purple gremlins in the camp? No more, no less. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, no, there's four. Oh, purple gremlins. He's actually not purple, he's orange. Yes. Well, if you say so, now, let's see how you did. A perfect score. <laughs> well, that proveth you're an outstanding member of the illustrious order, all right. Here you go, the flurry feathereth I collected. They're all yours. All right, we got two. <laughs> okay, now let's talk to the other one. Oh my God, this lisp y'all is killing me. <laughs> Three, the thumpereth threat you to collect our flurry feathereth. Certainly, I thwarted mine safely and fifth in the Thor room. They, what a bunch of wiggereth wonder like you doing in the air forth. You can't even fly. This all the very suspicious to me. <laughs> but if the supervisor sent you, everything must be <laughs> given abroad. Give me second. All I unlock the door for you. There you go, all unlocked. The flurry feathereth are in the death. Head on in and help yourselves. Uh oh. Wait, is that? Huh? Uh oh. What's going on? We've changed back into humans again. As I thought, the mirror, it's. What's going on in here? Did you find the flurry feather or. Scree! Yeah. Humus! <laughs> oh, you won't get away with this. I think I will. He did. Mara just smacked him once. Smack! That's him dealt with, but why did we change back into humans all of a sudden? Look up there on the wall, it's Ra's mirror. This legendary looking grass says it revealed the true form of all it reflects. I thought it was lost forever, I imagined the monsters had it all along. Huh, so that's what made us drop our disguises. Cannot leave such a powerful relic in the monster's hands. Let us take it with us along with the flurry feathers. I think that's going to be what reveals Malroth's, um... That's gonna have something to do with Malroth's transformation, I think, y'all. I think. I'm just, I'm just speculating here, okay? Alright, this is open now. Flurry of Feathers. Alright, and... Uh, anything in here that I need to loot or anything that I'm missing at all? I don't think so. Alright. So we need to use the rod again. Oh, we're hammer hoods now! Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we need to go to the swamp. The middle of the poisonous swamp. Where is that, you think? Probably over here, huh? Uh, it's actually the way I was heading. All right, let's see. There's some crates right here. All right, so we're gonna need to use the bottomless pot to grab this stuff out. It's somewhere around here. Ah, oh, there it is, I just saw it. Beautiful. There's the feathers that I needed. Okay, now we can change back. Let's, uh, let's uh, go as hammer hoods, I guess. And uh, is that it? Oh yeah, now we just go back to base, I believe. Perfect. Or we have to go where the gremlin is. You've collected all the flurry feathereth? Excellent work. And just in time, too. I feel a, th a thorn coming, but all the feathereth that you we can. I can't. I can't. Oh, there's the storm. Suffering suck attack. It's a tornado. Everybody back inside. 
and quickly. Oh no, we're too late. It's coming. This way. Scree. Wow, that's what it does to them, huh? Yeah, we need something that makes tornadoes. Wow, that whirlwind, really something. We're lucky we didn't get blown away ourselves. I see. Since the troops in the Air Force are constantly in flight, they're susceptible to strong winds. What say you, Zuljin? With this knowledge and the flurry feathers we collected, do you think you could invent a weapon to work against them? At any rate, our work here is done. Come, let's return to the castle. Yep. I learned a new recipe. A whoosh widget. <laughs> nice. All right. I wonder if we could just attack them right now. Oh, well. We don't really need to. Uh, we should be able to teleport back to town. Wait. Something doesn't feel right here. Uh-oh. Oh, Zuljin, thank the goddess you're here. Something terrible has happened. What happened? Uh-oh. What's going on here? They're dead? Slain in the night and buried. They bear wounds from a sword, and not one of the monsters, one of our own. Then it's true, a monster hides among us, a fiend disguised in human form. But if so, how in creation can we hope to find the perpetrator? And if all, if only we had Ra's mirror, we could be able to dispel the illusion. We do have Ra's mirror. Zuljan, is that Ra's mirror? Quickly, let's use it to expose the traitor in our midst. This is uh, a rum business, your majesty, but I fear we have no alternative. We cannot be sure of our safety until we have checked every last citizen in Moonbrook. You're seriously going through with this? What's wrong with you people? Don't any of you trust each other? You seem strangely opposed to finding a spy, Mauroth, almost suspiciously so. <laughs> Enough, you two. This is exactly what the enemy wants, to sow the seeds of doubt and distrust among us. All must gaze into the mirror, including you, Mauro. This is gonna be it. I know it. Come, Zuljin, use Ra's mirror and let our true forms be revealed. You may begin with us, your closest allies, if that's all right with you, Anessa. Yes, fine. Let's get this over with. And I gotta leave you with a cliffhanger, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. Next time we come back, we're gonna do Ra's mirror and complete this project that we had. I hope y'all enjoyed. The episode, if you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulrich signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.